Hi, boy. They left you down here? You need to go outside? It was super windy last night. And the palm tree, all those little sprouting blossomy things, like the light color ones, that was all going in the pool. Whoa, and I'm surprised this didn't fall down unless Carla picked it up this morning. But it started getting in the pool. And, and we're going to be getting a cover soon. Oh, wow. Some of them even went down. Some, like, pretty big parts of the leaves. So let's clean that up. Because I don't want all of that stuff starting to color the water. And we need to shock the water. They said do it once once a month. I mean, they said to shock the water once a week. That so far the water is good. But this could really be changing some things. You know, you think having a pool would be easy. Put water in, throw in some chlorine tablets. No, that is not the case. That is not the case. But it is very, very fun to have. And so soothing and relaxing, especially after workouts now. About 15 minutes later, I got it spick and span. Right, rubber ducky? Whatevs. And this guy is ready to go inside. It's cool right now, Tip. It's going to get hot later, though. A few days ago, I showed you this t-shirt right here, Travis Matthew. They sold for around this price, $15 to $20. This one sold for $16. Has a little Texas on there. Texas, greatest country in the world. $16 plus shipping. Cha-ching. All right. These are listings from yesterday. Here's an order of the Travis Matthew. And I have some jerseys here. Some local minor league baseball jerseys, a few hundred dollars worth. I've been collecting these 51s and Las Vegas Aviators uh, now that they are in the scene. But these are throwbacks. This is going to be the more valuable one. I wanted to show the backside of Beckham. This is going to be one that sells for around $25 to $30, maybe even $35. And Las Vegas, number six. Looking for jerseys, look for t actual major leagues teams on the side in collaboration with like the 51s which is this was their logo old school stars baseball we have this one breast cancer always fighting it and then we have two of these these are going to be an easy listing which i already got all of these drafted on ebay and now i need to take photos and measurements although they do have the sizes even though they have the size tags extra large and stuff i like to add the measurements in the description i've had these sunglasses running around getting moved around in my garage and i'm finally going to be listing them i need to look them up these are fox racing and usually on the inside you could find what they actually are so that way you're not wondering well, what kind of sunglasses are these these are the falta f-a-l-t-a i kept thinking that last letter was an n and it was, it was throwing me off but it took a few months to get it and then these are Spy McCoys. And this looks like they might have had some sunscreen on there, on their face when they put it on. And it just dried out and never used it after that. But these are some really good ones. I'm going to clean these off right now. I don't know how much these go for, but I'm pretty sure it'll be worth waking tip up when we find out how much they go for. Whenever I see things that are dirty, I do clean them. If I see smudges, or even if I have like that gut feeling of wipe things down, even though they are in good condition or excellent condition, like new, I, I still follow my gut and clean it. Sometimes I've even ruined things, but I'd rather know that I tried rather than it eating me up inside and then it kicking me in the butt later on. Carla is out getting a pedicure i think pedicure or manicure maybe even both she usually gets both of them i like them but i wasn't invited i didn't find out until we both woke up and she said i'll see you later and i said huh and she said i'm going out with mom and i said okay and then she said we're gonna go to the gym afterwards we usually don't go to the gym afterwards because she just gets a manny and petty and they go out to eat and then they go shopping and then around five hours later they're like we should go home and check on the boys as in me and tip I don't mind. I've always been big on Carla having quality time with her mom. And I even encourage her mom, like, you need to spend more time with your daughter. Stop being stuck in your room. Am I allowed to say that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why? Because it's a positive. It's not like I'm saying, stop being around us. You're a third wheel. Never that. I've always been big on Carla, like I've told people in the past. Quality time with their girlfriends is good time because I get some peace and quiet. 
I actually get to work on stuff and nobody distract me on, hey, can you do this? Can you do this? And I'm like, why? You're just playing Animal Crossing. Why do I get to do everything? You're just playing Animal, animal Crossing. And it seems like all you're doing is catching fish. I want to catch real fish, but do I get allowed to go out and catch some fish? No, never what the husband wants. And that's okay. Happy wife, happy life. <sighs> so they say, now that I got this brushed off with this little sponge, hopefully it got off that little crud that was there and it looks like it, but we won't know until we actually rinse these off. And folks, I made the biggest mistake that I could have made not knowing this, but I wish I would have thought about it. I wish I would have thought about the things that I invested in the past, when, especially when I was in the army. When I was in the army, I ended up buying some glasses that were metal and they were freaking amazing glasses out in Iraq. They didn't have policies really for what we wore because we were in the middle of war and we were right smack dad across the street from Baghdad. And we we're getting shot at and mortared every day and RPG'd. And it, it was intense, so intense that it just became normal. Like booms didn't scare us anymore. Thankfully, nothing ever happened. But then when we got home, it wasn't the same. We didn't take it the same way. It actually startles me every time when something smacks really loud or there's a loud boom. But I'm getting better. Um, I just got to remind myself I'm not at war. I'm in war with my body size. <laughs> And making light of my own self really does help because I used to be so serious about myself that it was probably affecting me and affecting Carla. And thankfully, now I'm as loose as a goose, which they never seem loose at all. They seem pretty serious. But anyways, I rinse this one off too. I did wipe it down, even though I didn't need any cleaning, but it's good to just keep things sanitary. So back to the glasses, the Oakley glasses that I got back in Iraq. I could have saved the glasses and got replacement lenses and they would have sold for several hundred dollars. I didn't know that. I thought once the lens ruined, it was done for. And then when I started getting into reselling, I started learning about like replacement pieces. Wiping these down dry, wipe them down. These are the Fox Faltos. These are some pretty cool shades if I don't say so myself. And I am speaking to myself. Right. Now the next ones, these are the McCoys. The real McCoy. And I think I like they're kind of they're kind of similar, um, which is funny because I know a lot of the glasses I've got, they're pretty much all the same. Just probably different brands or colors, but that was back in the day when I used to buy a lot of them in the military. I think my favorite glasses happened to be the Oakley gas cans. I ended up getting those during my my first tour in Iraq and my second tour. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yesterday's weather was super windy last night around probably 8.30 up until like midnight. Well, at least that's when I was trying to go to sleep. But Carla has been playing Animal Crossing. She loves games like that. And she'll stay on it until she finishes it but thankfully that is a long winded game because she beats other ones within like a week or two and i'm like ah now i gotta get her another one i guess that must have been like some kind of front of some sort because it's been super hot lately and now there's like just a nice little subtle breeze right now it's around 84 degrees and it's gonna get down to 72 degrees by 7 p.m so me and this little guy over here who's moping around being a couch potato, we're gonna go for a nice little walk after I get this stuff um, listed. I got it drafted, I just need to add the measurements, take the photos, and then complete the listings. Ah, that's good coffee. Well, I'm about to get these um, listings done and watch Defer, some movie on Netflix. Somebody comes in. Oh, that was funny about the wasp and then uh, <laughs> bless our nest. Hi, my love. What you got? Tostitos? I don't want Tostitos. <laughs> Did you get your nails done or your feet my done? Toes. Got your toes done? And you want to go to the gym? Why? Yeah, I'm going to the What about you? Oh, it's I grandma's over there. All of, all of that over there are snacks from when 
My brother-in-law and the kids come over. Yeah, I want some. Hell yeah, I want some of that. It's good, Jeff. Yeah, that air fryer though. Yeah. Good, good thrift choice. We use it almost every other day. Tip is like, can you drop one for me? Huh? Tip is like, can you drop a few Tostitos for me? I won't mind. <laughs> He's like, whatever. Yeah. What is he doing? What are you doing, Tip? Oh, my mother. So you know before they give you this count, right? But, uh... Ladies and gents, look at Mama Dola's dress. Come over here, Mom. Hello. Come to the side so we How can see your you dress. Guys? I like that top. It's Good nice. Afternoon to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna hurry up and drop this stuff up upstairs because I want to put them in the clear sleeve bags. And these glasses are good ones. And my hair right now looks like a mess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, but the McCoy ones are pretty pricey, even used. But unfortunately, the lens aren't in the best condition. You can see through them. But when you're wanting more value from them, like they could sell for $70 or more. If the lens were better, I could sell them without the lens. It doesn't matter, but I'm not trying to piece things out. I have them listed at $64.99. One sold for $70. The lens are special on there, and I wish they were in better condition. The spy ones are around $60. They're from 2011. So it's like 40 and $60 right here, a hundred bucks along with these things right here. I'm gonna put these down for now and come back to it. So, so far that is listed. Time is going by fast. It's already like one something. I must've woke up late. Tip has been waking me up early and earlier like I keep talking to you about. And the reason why I say stuff like that is because I want people to know what I'm going through of why things are not always in the smooth flow. I don't have that luxury of tomorrow I wake up at eight and this is what I'm doing. Tip, having animals, if you ignore them, they're gonna do what they need to do and that's gonna make even more mess and then people get frustrated like I've done in the past and it's like, who who is the blame here? Tip or me? It would be me because he he warns me out of everybody in the house, he'll come to me and like push on me and say, hey, I got to go. And he's gentle sometimes, but sometimes it's like, I got to go right now and do my business. I woke up at five this morning and then I tried to go back to sleep. Um, I was catching up on comments, which I like to do. And I try to stop now more than anything around six or 7 p.m. and just put down the phone, which I need to put down the phone more often. So some days are really good where I am done with my work and I am done for the rest of the day being on social media because I want to spend time with my wife. Just like the way you all are. You come and go as time fits you. And I like to have my videos out earlier, but I'm not always doing things that early. And I'm not trying to show y'all like my, my morning face of like just me being all crusty and such. I have more items to list. That's around, I would say $225 worth of stuff. And I need to hit my mark of $300 or more. So that would be done after we watch a movie together. I, think I had to run back upstairs because I was, I was thinking about Carla's reservations of a place that she mentioned a while back that we went to last year. Uh, dim sum place, Den Fai Fung Fo Fi Mo La Di Da, whatever. This dim sum place out in the Aria is freaking amazing. And I'm not talking loud because the door's open and she's downstairs playing her Animal Crossing. She's been addicted to that game since she's been on vacation. I was making reservations over the phone and they only have one for around 4.15. Everything else in the evening tomorrow is booked. And I was telling them, yeah, the, I don't need it for tomorrow. I need it for Thursday, the 19th. And the lady said, no, tomorrow is the 19th. Today's the 18th. I tell people all the time that I get my days confused because I'm usually in my house. I don't need to really pay attention to a calendar other than making sure with reselling, I'm not going on a Sunday to drop off things or a holiday that the post office is closed. But I end up going anyways. It's one of my kryptonites, holidays on the post office. I go anyways. I've done it for the past two years every day, even though I see notices of people saying, don't go tomorrow, it's a holiday. I... I'm one of those people that they're trying to remind and it doesn't work. 
But I was looking at the calendar while I'm talking to the lady over the phone on speaker. And she was like, yeah, tomorrow is the 19th. How big is your party? So I tell them there's at least eight people. And they said, that's quite a big party that they may have to split us up. So then I'm reaching out to everybody and seeing if they're still going to be able to make it. And unfortunately, they made other plans. Uh, so I made reservations for me, Carla and Mama Dola. And tomorrow's video may not be out until the day after but i'm going to be taking you along to show you uh, aria and the food that the place that we're gonna eat at it's an amazing place and really good food we've been there before and their chocolate dim sum perfecto again my days are confused i thought thursday was the 19th it is not it's tomorrow wednesday um and then my brother-in-law comes in thursday i got i got a lot of stuff to do until until today <laughs> so um bear with me folks i am packing up all of the jerseys that i just got finished listing and i have um something that is in the jersey that does very well annalee um this one right here let me show you after i knock out this one this one right here is a pretty good one keep your eyes out on this character face and you're gonna see right there annalee very good thing to look out for they're pretty pricey even smaller ones this one i think would sell for around 28 dollars I've sold one, be two before in the past, and this is another one that I had. I didn't need to look over other than the quality condition to make sure there's no flaws. And sometimes the little thing here, the broom is missing, but it's it's a good lightweight. But the broom itself gives it a longer dimension. So think about that when you're looking for stuff to resource and sell. Because sometimes those, those little dimensions over 16 inches could put a heftier price on shipping and that might not be something what people are looking for but then again people say if they want it they're going to pay for it but more times than any some people try to do free shipping and you have people complaining like why well, seeing other ones online for free shipping we'll go to those you know what i mean <laughs> why are you going to me and wanting to complain why aren't you going to buy something from those people so i'm going to get that listed here in a moment and then I'm going to see what's on Fandango. I like just looking on Fandango to see what movies are up. And hopefully there's a good one so I can take Carla and Mama Dola out to the casino. And I still haven't got her a gift. So that might come a little later. Um, it always happens. And I was trying to make this year not to be the year where uh, I can't do it all for her. And it happens to be another year where it's like, okay, I, I could afford to take her out, but I also am on a budget because I'm on a budget. It's not that I'm trying to save more, which I am, but it's like things always happen with the truck, the tire, um, the brake pads. Like, it's a pain in the butt, but it's worth it. But when it comes down to like special days, like my wife's birthday, next year or Christmas this year, whatever holidays comes up that relates to her, I'm going to do something special, but tomorrow I'll be able to do dinner. And sometimes that's like a really hard feeling to carry for me because it always happens year and year again. Like I, I will save and then all of a sudden, again, things happen after another, after another, another. And it's like, can I just get a break? And I think I, I have a huge break. I mean, we're both a lot further than where we started in our relationship. And I think that's something that I, I always look at. But sometimes she doesn't see it and will be like, where's my gift? And I'm like, I am trying so hard. And then it'll be like, you always say that. And I'll be like, if you only knew. Um, she has her own things that she focuses on and sees. And I do too. And we don't always see eye to eye to see all these little things that are happening that are for each other. And those create arguments. So I just try not to argue about it because it's just a sensitive topic. But I try my best. And when... What's going to come up next? I'm going to say Christmas. I'll do something really nice, something special, a nice gift. And who knows? I don't need to wait for Christmas to come around. I'll work on that here soon with my reselling journey and ventures to make that happen. So if you could relate to that, let me know what you go through and how you stay motivated on not letting it bum you out, even though you know you're trying your best, because I think more people need to hear about it. And I am pretty much an open book that is still writing out my own story of how things are going 
if I had it perfect, I don't think anybody would be interested in my channel. But because I'm open about my trials and tribulations, big or small, that people are, are, can relate to it. And they see that, okay, it sucks that they're going through that like I am. But it feels good that I'm not the only one going through it. But both of us, all of us, are trying to do better than what we have been. And although we're getting better, there's still all these hurdles and obstacles coming our way. And it's just on us to work with one another and motivate one another to get through them or around them for a moment. So however you want to take that, don't give up. Try your best. Be happy with what you got and be thankful because it could be worse, but we could always make it get better.